Okay, just uh, I'm gonna take you through two games that I played on my phone. Um, I've never liked playing on my phone chess because I um, can't move fast and make loads of errors and it it's really quite weird. But as you know, I like to do my research, I like to practice. So um, I played this one first and then um, I think it was yesterday and then I played one today. Um, I don't think I'll use my phone uh, going forward. Um, I thought the first time maybe I might have got a bit lucky, which is this one here, but um, there was no chances. So I'm going to just play back in real time and um, see, take a look at the damage caused in this game. Okay, you can actually see the timestamps going down as well, so that's um, quite interesting. So we went and attacked, and we castled, but we just weren't moving fast enough and then there was errors in terms of placement of the pieces so we're attacking the bishop with the pawn pretty straightforward we were looking to push this pawn a little bit further up but it didn't happen that way so we started getting a little bit frazzled towards this point here so now we're just thinking get pieces off the back maybe looking to try and attack this if we bring the bishop back but he's brought his bishop to attack us so we're moving the queen across. At this stage in time, I'm thinking, I don't like this position whatsoever, and I don't know how to do anything, so I just bring the bishop back, uh, thinking it's going, coming into a safe zone. And as you can see, my pieces definitely aren't working together. And then just slide the knight across. Obviously, the knight can take it straight off. I was in so, so much of a panic, um, so obviously we're a minor piece down now. So it was nothing the opponent was doing, it was just I was playing on my phone, I'm not used to playing on the phone, and I don't really like playing on the phone. So this was my first tester, playing on the phone. I know some people can play with using the phones, but I definitely can't. And sliding around, you know, sliding the pieces around, getting your pieces to the right places doesn't really seem to work for me. I don't, I'm not a fan of it. So it's got nice big open space in front of our king area. So it's um, there's not much to do really here. I mean, this queen is looking to jump down here at any stage. I was expecting this, but um, it didn't come at the moment. You know, trying to squeeze the king in front of the king, uh, my king. Sorry, the queen in front of our king. I'm still thinking they're potentially going to be doing this. My pieces are shot. They're all over the place. So I'm trying to block off this attack area uh, as best possible. So we get rid of the bishop. As you can see, the gaze bar showing blacks out and out winning. And yes, I would I'll hand it to them because he eventually gets there anyway in front of our king. So he could go for a draw or definitely go for some type of win with the placement of his uh, knight. If he's got a bit of cleverness about him. Our queen stuck in the center here, stuck not doing much. We've got sights of potentially getting our rook to this point here, and that's about it. So we get the king up, but he's just going to keep constantly checking. We're hoping and praying we can get the rook here and maybe get this, but they're probably just going to drop the pawn if that happens anyway. So at this stage, I'm thinking, no, they might be going for a draw. We might get lucky. But then they move the rook. I'm like, oh no, we're not. He's going to close us down. So we're still eyeing up this area here. It's the only thing we can think of doing. And they're on 43 seconds at the moment. I'm thinking maybe they're going to time out. But then he brings his knight back to put a check on our king. And it's kind of all blocked off now. The whole story, the whole interest at this point, we don't have anything to um, aim for. So yeah, it's just a matter of time now for the opponent to actually squish us because our king really got opened up and we don't have any spaces. He's got this area blocked off quite nicely. He's waiting for his queen to come down. Our king can't go anywhere. So it's an absolute travesty. Queen has not had any activity in the game. Dropping down, it's basically it's all over really at the end of the day. 
Captures, captures. It's not a very good position for us at all. So a tip for myself, don't play on my phone. But we did play one more, which we'll play today, just to see whether or not it was true, because sometimes, you know, might just have been a bad day on the phone uh, yesterday. Okay, so they're a minor piece up, and we're inching around, but look at all these pawns that they've got here. Look at all these pawns against them. We're not really going to win out. So that was a little bit of a slip. It's meant to probably come around here, but never mind. And it's basically all over now, just dancing around with my king. Don't know why I didn't resign, but I think I was more annoyed with myself for the fact that, well, I'm going to go for a stalemate then with this phone. <laughs> and there's no way he's just coming down, it's going to clean us out. So, yeah, definitely going to stick back with the um, my laptop and the mouse. And I did, oh, I did attempt one on, well, it wasn't all, I didn't record it, and it was just an anonymous game. I did try one on my PC with the mouse, but wow, that was very weird. And the, I've got the settings to set to fast on my mouse, and it was really quick. It was like, whoa, but it was too fast because by the time you get to the piece, then when you pick the piece up, it kind of like, it's still moving fast. So you don't really know where you're placing your piece, you don't have any control over it. So I've speeded up the mouse on the laptop and that seems to be okay. It's not as fast as the one on the PC. So that was this game here. Got um, absolutely wiped out playing on the form. And this is the second match that I played on my phone just testing it out see whether or not uh, there's any blips or or it was just me on yesterday's game so coming up placing and it the particular movement on the phone for me the sliding thing really was a bit of an issue and I knew what areas I wanted to get to but somehow it didn't work out so it felt okay attacking here attack attack but then because I wasn't used to the actual phone itself and the, the kind of, not lighting, but the positions um, didn't feel like I'd opened how I would normally open again in this situation. So both games, my openings for when I'm playing on the phone looked a little bit totally different to how I'm playing when I play on the laptop. So it wasn't as strong because this bishop here is, is basically blocking my king's passageway to get castled. Ordinarily, as you know, I'd be castled already. So this didn't feel like me playing. So it was really weird how I got into these positions so early on in the game. So it, there was a different mindset when I'm playing on, on the phone. Strange as it may seem, the practicalities are here visible for you to see. <laughs> And at this point, obviously, I kind of resign because it, my king is just all over the place here. Very sketchy play. It's really weird. It's a, it must have been a psychological thing, but it also is a physical thing. So, in essence, I'm not playing chess on my phone. <laughs> right, so we move on.